Can your phone be ruining your sex life? Yes, America, it is indeed true. A new study by Durex, the condom company, surveyed 2,000 adults and found that 15% of those surveyed would answer their phone or read a text while otherwise engaged in a sexual activity. Are you surprised? I'm not really surprised with this one. Um, and I was sitting here as we were, as we were putting the show together, and I, when, when, the, when the story came across my desk, I was like, I snickered because, I mean, I've done it before. Or I might, like, all right, so I don't necessarily read it. I will sort of, like, you know, I have one of those phones where, like, when it pops up, you see the text in the top, in, like, the top, you know, little top frame of the, the notification bar. Or if it's a call, you can see who it is. I always check to see who it is, or I always check to see what the text says. And then I go back to doing what I was doing before. But... I understand this. I'm probably one of that. I'm part of that 15. percent I think it's everything to do with the fact that cell phones have become such a big part of our lives, and we've become such we've become so attached to them that, like, from time to time, a lot of folks their cell phones sleep in the bed. Um, mine have not graduated to the nightstand, but they used to just sleep in the bed. They literally be in the bed under the pillow. Now they're on, they're on the nightstand. Um, but I mean, there's a lot of other folks that don't do that. Like, and I think we we got to make a better job and practice is, you know, millennial. I think it's a millennial thing of being really, you know, religious about where we put our phones, maybe either turning them off when we sleep. It, it really, in, it hampers your sleeping ability. And I'm telling you from personal experience, beyond just sexual contact and, you know, engaging sexual activity, the ideal of, like, I will wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning and check my phones and then go back to sleep. A lot of people do it. I think my producer does it. I know my brother does it. Uh, I have a lot of cousins that do it. They wake up, 3 o'clock in the morning, roll over, look at their phone and go back to bed, even though there's probably nothing happening. But it's your tend your urgency to check your phones. Where then, whereas then you hear folks like Adrienne Huffington, who says all her phone when she's going to bed, her phone stay in the living room, on the charger. And she go and there's, they're not allowed in the bedroom. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea, folks. So that's really the story here. It's not that you interrupt during sex. It's just that phones have become such a part of our lives that they they sort of intersect, you know, other activities that should they shouldn't they shouldn't intersect at all.